Good morning. It is October 9th, 2021, and I'm here to do your daily tarot therapy. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday. Uh, there is some gardening going on outside, so there's some funny buzzing in the background. Hopefully it doesn't make it hard to hear this. If it does, I'll try to uh, either put up captions or re-record, but hopefully the sound isn't too bad. Anyway, I've already pre-shuffled the cards. We're going to go ahead and give it a good shuffle. Spirits, Ancestors, and Guides gives our daily card today. Oh, oh, card just popped out. Oh, what a nice card. All right, just give me a moment to look this card over. I'm smiling because the card's the sun. The sun's always a positive card. I mean, think the sun, you smile, right? Warmth on your face, that kind of thing. Um, and the sun generally means that, that things are getting better. Things are improving. There's something good happening. The sun's coming up, right? Um, but that's kind of just such a general thing. So I'm going to go ahead and, and pull another card. I don't feel like that's really saying anything very specific right now. I have a feeling I know what, what the message is, but let's see what <clears throat> the next card that came out. So we ended up with the Knight of Cups. Okay. So the knight's usually some type of support, and cups have to do with love. So what I'm going to guess now is that your relationship might be a little bit tense right now. There might be some issues in your relationships. Uh, I'm guessing mostly romantic, but there could be, you know, issues with a friend or with a child, whatever. You know who you are if you're watching this, if this applies to you. If it doesn't, just take what resonates. <clears throat> but anyway, something is going to happen where, <clears throat> excuse me, you are going to come to an understanding. Things are going to get better with you and your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your friend, your kid, your parent, whatever. Things are going to improve. There's going to become some clarity. There was some sort of a misunderstanding. This has come up a couple times this week. So I feel like if you're watching these on a regular basis, this is really applying to you. And maybe you're going, I don't know what you're talking about. Really think back. Were there, you know, when's the last time you talked to your mom? When's the last time you had a good conversation with your sweetheart? You know, like what's going on with you? Really, really think this through because this has been coming through a couple times this week. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dismiss it. I know in my life, um, I definitely had to change some of my communication skills with my family and my um, loved ones. So um, let's see what the intuitive cards give us today for our tarot therapy reading. Okay, these have also been shuffled. I just grab whatever cards. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay, one more card. I'm gonna pick three just because we have time. Okay. So interestingly enough, the first card that came out was reflection. And I just said, do you think back on what's going on with your relationships? And, you know, is there something happening that is, hasn't been cleared up, hasn't been resolved? Uh, it's going to get better is what I'm telling you. It's going to get better. So if you think back on, maybe the reflection is more thinking back, why are you in, even in a relationship with this person? So that you can anchor yourself and not let the emotion take you away from what's most important, which is that person is somebody that you love, right? Um, I also picked this card, which is interesting because I was just thinking about this, um, protection. Um, when I say protection, I mean protecting you, who you are, your spirit. Um, yesterday I did a frenzy of psychic work, and in doing so, um, it drains my energy a little bit, and um, when I went to bed, unfortunately, um, because I had not done any type of protection type of ritual, like basically saying, you know, uh, before I go to sleep, I only invite positive um, input, and if you come to my dreams, only positive messages that I can understand. Um, you know, like I try to kind of pre-plan uh, the energy for my sleep cycle because when you're sleeping and when you're relaxed and your energy is low from doing a lot of the psychic work, so to speak, um, it's very easy for negative energy to get in. And sometimes, um, you know, nothing, I don't ever think it's that terribly dangerous. It's just frustrating. So sure enough, I laid down last night. I didn't do any protection. And sure enough, uh, I was fast asleep and something was in my room waking me up. And it scared the hell out of me. I had a hard time breathing when it happened. Um, and then I just basically said, get out of here. <laughs> You're not invited. Bye. And that's really all you have to do. Um, but it does remind me that it's very important to sort of Kind of like when you leave the store and you shut the lights off and you lock everything up and you put everything away out of sight so if somebody looks through the window they don't see you know pricey items or whatever it's the same thing with your energy when you go to bed if you've been expending a lot of energy for anything even if it's just work talking to friends whatever it's always good to think of a very positive closing to your day like surround yourself mentally in like a golden light close your eyes imagine something very positive and tell yourself i only invite positive in 
It's really important you do that because you're in charge of your own ship, right? You're the captain of your own ship. And then finally, we get a gratitude card. So again, in the situation with relationships um, getting better, I think also, like I said to you, looking back and saying, why do I really love this person in the first place? Why are they so important to me? That's more important than what you were arguing about or, or not understanding. Um, so have some gratitude just having those people in your life. And if you don't feel gratitude about those people in your life, then they shouldn't be in your life. That's, that's basic. Uh, so that was your tarot therapy for today, October 9th. I have a ton of personal readings to do, free readings. Please check me out on TikTok if you follow a TikTok. <laughs> I need a TikTok. Uh, follow me on TikTok. Uh, just because it, it helps me when you when I get 100 followers, then I can start doing live videos. And I did a live video last night that went really well. Um, five or six people popped on. I ended up with two new clients. It was really fun. Um, I was also told that I should set up some type of a cash app if people want to pay me for my services or tip me or whatever. Um, I really want people to understand I'm doing this because it's important to me to help people. And I'm not here to, to make money from people. I'm not a charlatan. I'm not here to, to milk people for their hard-earned cash. Um, I, I really don't want to have to ask people to pay me. If you want to pay me. Like if you want to donate money to me or a tip or whatever, that's totally fine. Just let me know. I'll give you my Venmo information. Um, but other than that, I don't expect to be paid. The only payment I ask is that you tell other people because my goal is to get the word out to more people that I'm here to help. And that's all I care about. So um, help me out that way. It's super easy. Just follow me. Follow me on all your social media. I promise I won't be spamming the shit out of you. It's just like, you know, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, YouTube. Just, just check those out, follow me, give a like, give a share or whatever. That's all I ask. Okay. That's really huge for me. So thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Love you all. Bye.